Hi there, this is Clara from Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. Um, I have pulled three cards here for Cancer for the month of October. So the very first card here I pulled is the Lover's card. Love this card. Love me the Cancer men. Love the Cancers. Very sensitive. They can be crabby. They can be misunderstood. Cancers I find sometimes are so sensitive that they're standoffish. It's, you don't think they like you, but they do. It's just that it's hard to get into that shell of theirs. So, um, cancer, female or male, the lover's card. Usually, fork in the road is what it means. Major arcana, major arcana again. There's the number two again. Couples, one, one. Lovers. Okay, so let's start with this card. Um, just to kind of give you a little background again that I am an empath. Um, that is my strong suit. I also do read tarot cards. A lot of times I will pull cards to, um, uh, you know, verify what I'm feeling is right. Usually they do back me up pretty good. So um, I'm not the best at them. I'm learning and um, I am giving away a free reading to anybody that emails me till October the 1st. Um, you can either have a tarot reading, I will answer one question, or a energy reading. So it's up to you. You just let me know in your, your email how you want that done. So the very first card here is the lovers. And that is um, number six in the arcana. So choice. So this talks about the lover's card often appears when you are faced with a crucial life decision and must choose which path to follow. It can herald a romantic adventure, often with a trial or choice involved. Commitment, sexual adjustment, love and marriage may occupy your thoughts. You may be preoccupied with the progress of an important relationship. When the two of cups upright also appears in this spread, you are probably dealing with a significant love relationship. Well, there's no two of cups, but <clears throat> whoever in the month of October for cancers, there's going to be a decision that you have to make. Whether you're single or whether you're married, um, it does have the two here with the high priestess. So I would say that it's probably dealing with couples. Um, um, this card cautions you can caution. This card cautions you to consider carefully all the ramifications of a major decision before making a final commitment. Are you in a relationship and you're not happy and you don't know where to go? You don't know what to do. You're scared of making a decision. That's what that card is. Um, are you single? Do you want to get into a relationship? Are you, you know, does that scare you? Same sort of idea. The lover's card, it's going to happen. Another major arcana, you can't change it. So you have to live with it. And, um, but it's your choice, right? I mean, like it's, it's coming. And, but you have to decide how you're going to handle it. So the Princess of Pentacles. Uh, let's just see what it says about that. Um, to, and this is a general reading for cancers. Like I say in my other videos, there's a million cancers out there. This will not um, refer to everybody out there in the whole world. For every cancer out there, I'm sure there's some happily married cancers there's some happily single cancers. So um, let's see here. Um, Princess of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. So. Page of Swords. Page of Pentacles. Okay. So. This talks about hard work paying off from small beginnings. Progress will be slow, but sure. Um, let's see here. Pentacles indicate a need to care for physical and material needs. Um, this really talks about a quiet, reflective, and conscientious youth. Princesses and um, princes are younger people. So it could be a younger person, a person that loves nature. A student, a researcher, a plotter. Um, so whatever decision that you're going to be making here might involve this kind of a person. A student, a nature person. Um, it talks about 
patience, persistence. <clears throat> Let's see. Talks a lot about opportunities. So, but this, per I don't know, I think this is more a person, more of a someone who's a natural. I mean, look at this too. You can see that this card, lots of green around it, nature, someone who's a nature lover. So, you know, I would say that's the kind of person that is. Now, the high priestess, that's another major arcana, but you see, there's the two right there. That to me means another couple, one plus one equals two. Two ones separate is one person each. I've been getting a lot, like I've been pulling a lot of cards for each of these months here, and most of them gotten a two in the reading. So two, the high priestess. Okay, so the high priestess is usually you. Um, intuitive awareness. So something is going on beneath the surface. Hidden knowledge needs to see the light of day. The high priestess appears when you need to attend to your innermost feelings and listen to your inner voice. Some aspect of your current situation deeply touches your unconscious mind. Now it is time to reflect, meditate, pray, and contact your inner self. Trust your feelings. Trust your feelings. This is what it's telling me is that you have to go with what your gut says. Your dreams and intuitions give the best counsel. Past conditioning and early memories are affecting the current situation. Um, let's see here. An intuitive or psychic woman may come to your assistance. That might be me. I don't know. Hard to say. Um, let's see. Someone who understands the inner workings of the mind or of your current situation may be of help. So you have a decision to make. Somebody's coming into your life. You may have to make a decision about two people in your life. This nature person, whether, whether male or female, it's a general reading, so I don't know. And trust your gut. Trust what your gut says. Listen to yourself. So it's a pretty good reading overall, I think, for Cancers in the month of October. Nothing bad. If you have any questions, email me. Like I said, I'm giving a free reading to anybody until October the 1st. Just email me one question and I'd be more than happy to answer any you have. Um, I would love to hear from you. Um, hopefully it's positive and... Uh, um, have a good month in the month of October for all you cancers out there.